Going up into the bog. There's someone blowing leaves outside. Oh, sorry. Someone said I made me feel sick by bobbing about in my chair. But it's the closest thing I can get to all the towers right now. <laughs> I'm waiting on a special guest arriving at my house. Can you guess? Can you guess? Charlotte. Charlotte's coming up to work with me this morning. And part of the work today is actually very fun. I'm doing her makeup. I've got my kit all in front of me. Uh, and then as soon as I've done that, I'm going to pack my kit because I am leaving tomorrow for a shoot, for a product. A new product. This product is a product that I have been using for nine months. A lot of you have guessed it. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to seeing you. I've got my coffee, I've got my water, I've got my drinks. My drinks, I've got my music. It's going to be great. I need 12. I think this is the before. Mm. Oh my gosh, she looks excellent already. <laughs> so, where are you going tonight? I'm just going to dancing with my friends. You're going to dancing? What mm -hmm. one? Um, we're going to uh, the garage. <laughs> oh my god, I've been there so many times. I love that place. You got a bottle? <laughs> Saying that, how fun would it be to end up at the garage on a night out by accident? I feel like that's because it used to be ABC on ABC. ABC oh. is the best. And my hands are nice and cold. I know. <laughs> Get the hydration. Does that feel nice? So good. It's here, it's here, it's here. Oh my god, the mattress. Right, I'm not even lying on it. But to guess how comfortable it would be, Charlotte, out of 10. Well, I feel like we've gone from mattress on the floor <laughs> <laughs> to new nice new mattress on the bed. I think you're going to see. Are you going to do it after your protector's on? I'm going to lie on it after protector and sheet is on. I feel like it's going to be like an 8, but then when you have everything on it, it's going to be a solid 10. <sighs> you want me to help do the other side? Yeah. Oh, good. That fits. Well. And you know what I didn't realise? Our old mattress is an emperor, right? So it was, it's an eastern, a, you know, a European emperor, so it was seven foot by seven foot. Our duvet has always been a super king. Oh. So our duvet will be feel much bigger now. <gasps> oh my god, I'm like, whoa! Nice colour, right? Silky. Silky, it's Egyptian colour. Oh my god, I hope this is better than our old mattress. I thought our mattress was a lot worse than it actually is. Oh my god, it's quite a big sheet. Is this a deep one? Yeah, but not super deep. It's meant to be like... Huh? What? Yeah. Is that normal? I feel like you go for a nap. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's comfy. Where's your pillows? Is it, is it firmer than the last one? I don't know. Do you have a bit of a top on this one? Yes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> No, it is comfy. It is comfy. I can just put your pillow in your duvet and you'll... What is going on? Hmm. Hello, right, what I've realised, I've made the beddish. I've just put, which is a, a sacrilege, but I've put her stuff on. I think it's so good. But what I'm thinking is, well, I'll sleep in it tonight. And then if it's not my fave, I found this bed frame. Like, I set a really similar bed frame that I can get in that mattress size. And we can just have that in the next room. But this is nice. This is good. I'll test it properly tonight and let you know. Oh my god. No, it's much better. And I like my duvet hanging over the edge, actually. I think it might be slightly anticlimactic because we've been on the bed frame already. But, oh my god, it looks good. Are you ready to see my creation? Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. Look at that. Get that hair out my face. You look great. Why does it look so grey? I don't know. Is it because I'm wearing grey? No. Let's find somewhere <laughs> what the house like. <laughs> you look pretty. Mm. What am I wearing? <laughs> wow. Wow. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Look at this. This is the only bad thing about the Biab journey is I have grown absolutely dependent and emotionally attached each and every one of these little keratin <laughs> tic tacs. <laughs> nails and hair are made of the same thing, that's why you take hair and nails and skin tablets. Do you know, I literally, I was going to brush my hair before my meeting, but now I can't because it's going to catch. Is it, is it sa savable, salvageable? It's, it's so close. Do you think they maybe put like a form or something on it and fill it in? Look how close it is. I have been rolling about like this for the last hour. I've just finished up all the stuff I had to get done. Jack's left me. He's, he's left me. He left today to go on a trip. I leave tomorrow afternoon. I'm by myself. 
I feel like alone time is something that I like the idea of sometimes and it's never as fun as I think. I think it's important to be able to be by yourself and I do, I can do it, I just need to make sure that I've got like get up and go to actually like make my, make it nice, you know, make it nice for myself, like decide to go and watch a film in my bed or you know, make the most of Jack not being here. Like Jack hates Harry Potter, hates Harry Potter, hates, he kind of likes Hunger Games. But you know, that's the kind of thing that I love to just sit and watch and by myself. So, what time is it? Five to six. We've got no food in the house because I'm an idiot. So I'm going to order myself something nice for my dinner, which is a treat, right? That's a treat in itself. I'm going to, I need to pack my kit. I've not packed my kit yet. So I'm going to do that. Order my dinner first, pack my kit. By the time my dinner comes, I should have packed my kit. I'm going to go in my Peloton. I'm going to do my hot blanket. I'm going to have a bath. I'm going to style my hair. And I'm going to get a cosy early night. It's going to be perfect. And me and the dogs are chilling out. The dogs are walked, fed, happy as anything. But man alive, I'm, I can't believe it. I've turned into a big soppy git on the jack. Uh, I just made a TikTok. Look how cute this is. I put it on my Instagram. You ready? Oh. I was born a dog. I identify as a dog, but according to my mom, it's just a baby. I was oh, born a she's just a baby. Um, that yeah, because obviously I'm not posting a picture looking like this today, am I? I look as rough as anything, man. So I'll feel good once I've styled my hair. I wish I'd put tan on, but I can't. I actually can't be bothered now. And if I'm going to my peloton, I'm going to be all sweaty and stuff anyway. Okay, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. I'm watching Black Mirror. I've got a wee dog. She is like my shadow. Oh, wee girl. Oh, wee girl. Peach iced tea. I've got a, oh, that doesn't say. Chicken red sukari. It kind of reminds me of like a Thai green curry. What a treat. And I've got a wee peach iced tea. I'm watching the Black Mirror that's got Miley Cyrus in it. It's very good. Mm. Peach iced tea is my absolute favourite. Uh, I've packed my kit. I'm just going to chuck some clothes in a bag and my makeup in a bag and then I'm done. Um, I'm only down in London for one night. I'm staying at a new hotel which I'm buzzing about. It looks really cool. Mmm. Oh no. Breakfast time. I need to buy you your salmon oil. And I need to buy you your youth drop. I to keep your hips loose at easy bed. Excuse. Yo guys, this looks like a really good one. And then we put Joy as you move in, three tablets, a ball in Juno's feet so she slows down. Doosh. So what are you saying to me? <laughs> Hi, do you think? Get down and behave yourself. Ready? And go! Go! Spin! So well behaved. Oh, you've got water, good. I'm just making my grapefruit. And I've got my little cup of coffee here as well. I feel like I need assistance. Do mattresses take time to break in? Because I didn't have a very good sleep last night and I'm feeling quite upset. <laughs> I was so excited about my new mattress. It's, it feels kind of lumpy, it feels really hard, it doesn't feel comfy. Like, I was trying to think, if I was in a hotel and I, I slept in that bed, would I like it? And honestly, I don't think I would. The simple mattress on top of that bed frame was so comfortable. So I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, I looked to see if there's like a guarantee or anything. And there's not, so we've got to keep the mattress regardless. Like I said, I tried it in Cara's house and it was so much softer. So I've texted her and she said, yeah, it takes a few days for it to settle in. These dogs are so goofy. You'll love it when it's just mum, huh? I'm thinking, like, so basically it's a pocket sprung mattress, right? And I've been on my Simba mattress for, actually, I got it right at the start when we moved in. Four years we've had that Simba mattress. So, can someone just tell me what's going on and what I can do to fix it? Thank you very much. Some of you might wonder why I bother doing this. Uh, I find it very therapeutic. I also get way more out of my grapefruit. See, when you just go out your grapefruit with a spoon, you never get enough fruit out of it, I don't think. And then I take all my juice stuff and let that squeeze. It's the juice, where's the squeeze? 
and um, make sure you wash your hands immediately after because your hands are covered in acid citric acid like fruit acid by the time i finished packing and having dinner and getting myself sorted for today it was 10 o'clock last night so i didn't do my peloton and i didn't do my hot blanket which i'm a bit annoyed about <laughs> come here Dora. come here are you good <laughs> that's the softest bark ever oh big man look how came this is my new favorite thing so we ate so many vegetables last week my box are a company that like save fruit and veg from getting put in the bin so a lot of the time it's either too ugly to go into shops too much of it's been grown there's loads of different reasons but basically they save it and you get it for a really good price this is the large box i think it, it's about 23 pounds but there's enough fruit and veg in here to last you ages it makes you get quite inventive with your cooking because sometimes you don't know what you're getting but look a watermelon i love watermelon i would never buy a watermelon for myself i've got pears i've got bok choy i've got plums i've got red onions is that a radish is it a carrot it looks like a prop what's up dark big oh my god imagine that as a big baked potato yum cabbage we've got some salad leaves and we've got some grapes this isn't sponsored they did give me it but they've given me a code as well so you can use jamie 50 to get 50 percent off your first box so you can try it out and see what you think so it's actually it would be like 10 12 pounds for a huge big box of fruit and veg hello oh my god that's the only thing we're getting a fringe this is greasy i just got to my hotel look how cool this is i'm staying at the lost poet right so this is close to where the shoot is tomorrow and then i go to heathrow airport to go home so there's no point it's the london so big that if i was to say central or you know at the nomad it's miles away from where i need to be early tomorrow morning so we're always looking for somewhere cool to stay and look at this. i'm up I want, I want it permanently for me. This is called the Muse Room, is that not so perfect? This is the little bathroom, so when you first come in the front door, this is the bathroom, we've got a lovely shower, we've got a little toilet obviously. I don't know how I'll show you the toilet. Great lighting. Look at this, there's a bath right here. It's amazing, it's like a little, it's like, what do you call them? It's like a little mini tub, but I'm oh, definitely gonna have a little bath tonight. Lovely, big, comfy bed. Oh my God. That's great, I had a terrible night's sleep last night. I'll tell you about that in a second. I, I am actually, I'm so happy I'm not at home tonight. That is comfy. And then, it gets even better, look. I'm out of breath, it's, a, it's on the top floor. And um, I carried my suitcase up, and my kit's really heavy. This is so cosy warm up here. It's like a little lounge area. Some glasses for wine. And it's got a terrace. How amazing is this? This is making me really want to make sure that I've got my outdoor space sorted. I'm being really careful not to film over there because I did just see a naked lady through a window and I don't want to encroach on anyone's privacy. But look at that. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love it. It's so genius. This is such a nice, like, conversion. Cool, look. Little telly up here. Uh, I need to order something to eat. It's almost, it's like a hotel, but not. It's like a guest house. But it suits me perfectly. You didn't check in or anything. You got an app on your phone that lets you in. It's amazing. Uh, there is a reception for like most of the day, I think. But look, you just use like a flexi pass thing. Like Muse, I can't believe that. How lucky. I found a really good looking Italian, which I want to get. I'm so glad I brought dry shampoo with me. Like I've just flicked my hair up in a clip because I styled it yesterday. Oh my God, it's too curly. So last night, Jack was away. I didn't realise until he was leaving that I've not spent that many nights um, by myself. I definitely have spent some nights on my own, but I think just because, he, maybe it's because he was away out of the country, like the last time that, <laughs> I sound pathetic, but the last time that Jack went away out of the country without me, and it wasn't me going out of the country, it's a different story when it's me, it was a stag do, so years ago. So I really missed him. I was really missing them. The dogs were freaking me out. I think that they're overprotective and it's just me because they were barking their heads off. Like I was in the bath watching Black Mirror. I had to get out of the bath three times to go and look outside because I was terrified because the dogs were really good. Like if anyone comes near our house, they'll go off their heads. Yeah, they were freaking me out a little bit. And then when I go into my bed, the mattress, right? 
I think that the mattress needs breaking in. My sleep last night uh, was absolutely dreadful. I woke up with a sore hip and a sore shoulder, but I've looked into it. I think you have to break in your mattress. I think I fell asleep about two o'clock and I woke up at seven. And like I said, I'm down for one night. So it's a flying trip. I'm kind of sad it's not two nights now. I would have stayed here for two nights, especially if it's nice weather. And maybe we could have gone out for dinner or something after the shoot. My dinner's here. That smells so good. How do I open it? Oh, it's Celtic. Okay, I can't believe that at one point there was no delivery. What? Oh my God, so I've got kacharis, kacharis, kacharis. Oh yes, that looks great. Oh my God, it's warm. Look at that. Health is wealth. Beer. Oh, is there a wind wheel? Oh my God, it's from Bologna. Oh my God. That is where I just was in Italy to work. And the food in Bologna is wild. And I come up here to my little living room because I'm gonna watch some TV. And then I actually think I'm gonna get a really early night. And I've got an early call time. I've got to get up at about six tomorrow. But I don't even mind because it's sunny outside by six or it's light outside by six. Look at that. Well, we do a taste test. Wild. Look at this for a dream. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna read my little book. I've got my suitcase all packed with my kit in it and it fit my kit, but also my makeup bag, my brush canister and a tote bag with clothes for tomorrow. So it's perfect for my makeup kit. Usually I would travel with two suitcases, but because I'm literally down for one night, I can fit it all in here. That dinner was so good, that place is amazing. Was it too much cheese? Absolutely. I don't feel amazing. I didn't finish it. I almost finished my dinner, but it was just so rich. And because I'm kind of back on my like Peloton and looking after myself and stuff, weirdly when I travel, I'm not hard on myself. I'm, I'm never hard on myself. When I travel, I don't really think about what I'm eating too much. Like if I feel like a treat, then I'll get a treat. And like if I feel like a beer, I'll have a beer because I, I love a bloody beer. But at home, I'm so like simple with my eating. I pretty much have like my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner. Snack wise, I tend to like snack on fruit and stuff. So you know you get people that can eat whatever they like and their weight doesn't really change and things. I'm not like that. Um, if I was to eat like that every day, I would put on weight quite quickly. And, but I'm, I'm really enjoying looking after myself and, and eating healthily and things. But I think everything in moderation, that, uh, that's the secret to life. I'm gonna wake up early and do a nice makeup on myself as well. These packing cubes, I'm telling you, this is our essential bag and they're the perfect packing cubes. I've literally got all my skincare and hair stuff in here and I've got all my makeup in here. It's not even full actually. My brush canister, <laughs> very satisfying to me. It's the same height. So I just put it in my case like this. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. Bag with my clothes in. I brought my GHD rice to do my fringe in the morning. So I'll show you my toiletries. Cause this is like my go bag. So see wherever I'm traveling, I just grab this and go. Uh, I've got my toothbrush, which is my Spotlight Oral Care. I've never worked with them, but I did get given this. It's the best. I'll never use another toothbrush. I also bought, <laughs> so gross a tongue scraper from Amazon. I had another one which was like a U shape. Didn't like it. This one is great. It's small. Mm. I usually have minis of my toothpaste, but I don't at the moment, so I brought my big Maris toothpaste. This brings me joy every day. Every time I brush my teeth with my bougie toothpaste, I feel great. I've got my Keys Soul Care Sacred Body Oil. This is a new one, because I ran out of the old one. Skin Care, what did I bring? Haha, uh -huh, not much. So I've got cleanser. I've got the Biosance Squalene and Elder Blur Jelly Cleanser. This is a little sample I got from Cult and I love it. I want to try more of the Biosance stuff. I've got my Skin Suticals Hyaluronic, the HE Intensifier. I've got my La Roche Posay Tolerane Cream. I've got my Anthelios. UV Moon 400. This is an updated formula. It's, it's I've got all the stuff that you like, but more. It's got more UV protection now. I've got my Estrid razor. Love so much. Uh, again, I don't work with them yet. I would take up that flipping deal in a second. I love this razor and I love the little pouch and I love that I get my new heads delivered to me. I love it. I bought that myself. 
You can pan and water, nearly finished. Batiste dry shampoo because I've run out of all my other travel ones. It's actually very good. I used to use this all the time when I was a teenager. And a top tip is put your dry shampoo in at night time and then by the morning it's worked in and it works really well. I've got my oil, oil, a little mini, and I've got my CB2 for taking before I go to bed. And then I've got my wet pro hair brush and my wet comb to brush out my curls. And that is what's in my toiletry bag pretty much every time. And then as I run out of stuff, I'll top up with different things. If I'm away for ages, I'll like put a face mask in. It's just really not fussy at all. If you ever wonder why my makeup comes away here, it's because I do this and bite my cheeks. My cheek biting's not got much better, unfortunately. I was doing really good and then I got sick and then it just went back to normal. So I might go back to my hypnotist guy, hypnotherapy hypnotist. So yeah, I really thought that was gonna work. Uh, it's a habit I would really like to break. Oh, look at the waves. Quite nice, eh? I'm gonna go for my bath and get a sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow for shoot day. And you can guess what or shooting. You'll give me a little mm. I feel like it can just be our little secret if you guess, right? Just keep it between us. Okay. I'm a, I'm a terrible person. Not only did I not vlog a single thing from the photo shoot. No, that's it. That's the reason I'm terrible. I didn't vlog any of the photo shoot because it was nuts. It was so great. Uh, I don't even think I need to vlog it for you because so many of you guessed correctly because you're inside my brain. Uh, I've got my makeup on. I just did a masterclass online and then I quickly changed because it's book club night. Book club night, we read a book called Blood Orange. I gave it 3 out of 5. I would give it a 3.5 out of 5, probably. Um, I'm going to talk about it tonight and then I'll talk to you about book club tomorrow, but it's just been a mental day. I got home at 1 o'clock this morning. That hotel was so great, or the room, the, the place that I stayed was so great, but for some reason I couldn't sleep. I took my CBD and everything. And I actually, it wasn't like my mind was going, I just wasn't tired. So I got four hours sleep, and then call time was eight, so I was up at six. And then I didn't get home till one o'clock in the morning, so it was a really mental long day. My flight home was delayed. It was just a lot. So today I woke up, I had meetings all day, and then whenever I do master classes, to make sure that as many people can join as possible, it's obviously after work. So it's always after my work day that I do it. So I was feeling like tired, but I love my master class so much. And there's my lift outside. I'm going to book club. I'll catch up tomorrow. I woke up with a little bit of a sore head. Book club's the best. It's the best thing that I'm part of. It's the, I, I look forward to it so much every month. We do it on the third Thursday of every month, pretty much. We're a wee bit lenient next month because we've got some holidays. It's the best. Me, four of my girl pals. It's incredible. Did we talk about the book? Yes, we did. We talked about the book the whole time. And whoever chooses the book hosts. You've got a month to read the book, essentially, which gives everyone time. Like, I think I finished it in the first week, so I moved on to other books. And whoever chooses the book hosts does food, everyone brings wine, brings wine or whatever they're drinking. The host, the person that chooses the book, does questions. So we all discussed the book, it was literally the best. I got home at a very sensible time of quarter to 12, but I really enjoyed my wine last night. So I woke up with a dull ache behind my eyes. Uh, but it's just, it's just a reminder of how much bloody fun we had, I swear. Uh, I've got a parcel I want to open. This is from Used to the People. Oh my God. Urban Flower Company. Oh my god, I love them. Thank you very much. I need to put them in water. Is this something I can put in my face right now? The most potent retinoid next to an RX that works to reduce fine lines, smooth texture, even skin tone. It's got niacinamide in it as well. Oh, um, I'm feeling youth to the people. This is the, you'll have seen this before. I feel like they're everywhere on TikTok right now. Thanks guys. That's a really nice parcel. I really want a homemade sandwich, but she sells out. Okay, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go. I also have another place to be. I'm going to the Apple store. There's a few things um, that I've had my eye on. I'm kinda on one right now. I go through the phase, I go through quite like a long time not really buying anything. And the way that I'm justifying this is my laptop's actually not been great. There's a new laptop out and I was thinking about getting it. And I've decided, no, that's stupid. I'll just wait until I actually really need a new laptop. But one thing that I have been coerced into buying by my Peloton is I really want an Apple Watch. Everyone I've spoke to says that they're great. 
I am a big Apple fan. I've got, like, it's like my favourite thing. Jack's got an Apple watch that he loves to wear for his running, but the Peloton links up to your Apple watch, so you get a really good idea of what you've done, like, what exercise you've done. And also, I think it will help me get my steps in. I had a Fitbit for a while, but it just it wasn't integrating into my life enough, and, like, I forget, and to put it on and charge it up and blah 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 but the apple watch for me but yeah i'm not gonna just find it anymore. we're just gonna go and get one <sighs> i've not been here for a very long time i can't even remember where everything is but what i do know is that this is the best apple store in glasgow hands down 100 percent no contest brayhead apple is the absolute best i'm gonna get ear tags so i can track all my stuff i think it's such a cool concept okay let's go let's do this jing it's gonna be busy i'll see you at the car i've secured the goods look at this a bag of sandwiches i'm so excited i got a chicken caesar focaccia oh, can you cope if you're in glasgow if you live in glasgow if you're visiting glasgow uh homemade in in the west end of glasgow you need to go it's the best sandwiches the best sandwiches okay then works so hard man it's and it's so busy, so busy. It's so fun when it's like your friends doing great stuff. Right, I'm parked in a stupid place and now I'm stuck. Uh, but we're gonna go home right now. Oh my god, I got sleepy eyes today. I feel like that little last bit of the vlog was all over the place, but I have some updates for you. I got my Apple Watch. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. So I got, I think I got the stainless steel silver with the gold strap, which is a different type of gold than what I usually wear. But I think it, I think it looks really good. I got the biggest size as well, just because I thought it suited better. And I've just been spending the last couple of days playing around with it. I can't believe how much it does. I uh, used it on my Peloton yesterday. I'm about to do it again today. Uh, today's Sunday. You literally, it's got like a little Peloton app. It just says, just start, start your workout. I've been tracking my sleep. I closed my rings yesterday, so basically you put in like activity, so like I said, I wanted it for getting steps in. Tells you how many like flights of stairs you've climbed. It's way more accurate as well because I don't carry my phone around with me all day, um, whereas this is literally stuck to my wrist. So far so great. I put, I don't, I don't really know what my targets should be, so I put like exercise at 25 minutes a day. I did double that yesterday. And I only went on my Peloton for 20 minutes, so I think it counts exercise as doing anything active. I couldn't believe this, like, so see if I'm here, you slap it and it goes back to the home page. And then if I go, like I've got Apple Pay. So you can do like hand gestures. I basically, if you've got an Apple Watch and you're not maybe sure completely how to use it, I looked up Apple Watch hacks on TikTok and it had loads of like tips and tricks on how to get make the most of it. When I was in the Apple shop buying it, they were like, they, <laughs> they were just like, how, how do you not have one of these already? I didn't realize how many people have them and how good they are. I feel like I'm really late to the game, but I'm, I'm buzzing about it. And yesterday, I think because I'm quite competitive, even just with myself, like it, <laughs> it makes me want to close my rings and things. I'm a bit obsessed. I need to get a charger that's long enough so I can sit it next to my bed. Another thing that I didn't tell you was our book that we read. We read a book for book club called Blood Orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what book we've read once we've read it. Because there's part of me, I don't want to tell you what we're reading next. Because I'll get loads of comments of people saying either they love it, they hate it. And I'd rather finish the book and then we can talk about it. <laughs> if that makes sense. A lot of people in my DMs were saying it's the best book they've ever read. Uh, and then a lot of people in my DMs were like, nah. It was crap. I thought I gave it a three out of five. I thought that the story was all right. The main character really pissed me off. Ending was very rushed. But if you've read it, what do you think? And then the last update I've got for you before we edit and show you is on the bed. It said that I didn't get a good sleep at all. Already that's changing. The last couple of nights I have slept so good. It's definitely firm, like firmer than what I was used to, I think. But I think we're breaking it in. So what we're going to do is sleep on it for two weeks and then rotate it 180 degrees and sleep on it again. 
we actually got our bedside tables delivered as well. So we just got matching ones and I love them. They're so simple. Jack doesn't keep anything in his. I've got like lip balm and things like that in mine. And these covers I'm quite obsessed with. I got these on sale on flannels. They're Agent Provocateur bed sheets. I think they're so cool. It's a bit wild in here with the green and the purple, but whatever. But yeah, I'm actually, I'm delighted now. The size is a lot smaller than our old bed. We're still kind of getting used to that, but I think it is nice and there's something about having a bed that's the actual right like dimensions that I like. All in all I feel like over the week after like the weeks go on this mattress is going to become amazing and um, but already it's so much better that first night was just really shit. <laughs> I feel like it's been, I was going to say it's been a lazy weekend. I'm just getting myself sorted. I actually, for the first time in ages, sat down with my laptop to start planning out videos and things like that, which I've not done in a really long time, so I'm really looking forward to it. Last night, I literally had a bath and started watching Normal People Obsessed. Connell. In this, today I'm literally going to upload the vlog, I'm going to whiz around and do a bit of a, like a reset before the week. I'm actually looking, really looking forward to the next couple of weeks of working. Jack and I have booked some flights to go on a little summer holiday after my birthday, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. And yeah, apart from that, I'll see you next week. Can't wait. Bye. Oh no, no, no. Is that, are they all your nails as well? You don't get any? It was turned. It was actually your face. It was actually I'm all by myself. Apart from I've got my dogs. But they're sleeping, they're useless. Well, oh, it's just everyone. Oh. I'm, li I'm, living, I'm living in my own personal <laughs> nightmare. The day's over. The day's over, I'm going to my bed. <laughs> Good night, one. I'm not feeling great at seven in the morning, let me tell you that. I think the postman got a fright, so I was like, oh, what do you want?